Thank you so much my dear students for enrolling this course. I think this course enrolling has been best decision of your whole life. In this video I would like to say how can you get best result from this course. Actually when you will enroll this course that time first of all you will complete the course step by step so carefully. Owing to the fact that once you will complete the course then you can get all the point very easily. So don't be upset before finishing the course. I believe that your satisfaction is my success that's why I have completed the course with my best technique and analysis. So if you can't understand any point or lecture just watch time and again. After that I will guarantee you will get all the point very simply. So without any further delay let's get started. And if you have any question feel free to ask me. I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thank you very much for staying with me. See you in the next lecture so stay connected. Hello my dear students, how are you? I hope you are fine. Welcome to the lecture. This is our first lecture. That's why in this lecture I will talk about some basic thing. Like what is Adobe Photoshop and how to get it. Actually Adobe Photoshop is a photo editing software or you can say raster graphic software or alternatively you can say pixel based software. By using this software you can easily edit any types of photo as your wish. And also you can create any sort of graphic design like business card design, t-shirt design, logo design, social media design, cover design, banner design, coupon design, poster design and a lots of things. Alright now question is how to get the software. Indeed the process is very easy. First of all you have to go google.com. I am going. Then you type Adobe Photoshop free trial. Then open the first link. I am opening. Look at there are two options are available. One is start your free trial or buy now. So if you want to use free trial for 7 days you can use the free trial option. Otherwise you can buy it from here. I already bought the software. This is my software. After buying this software you can install the software on your computer. Therefore guys I hope you can understand all the point. Thank you very much for staying with me. See you next lecture. So stay connected. Hey my dear students how are you? I hope you are fine. Welcome to the lecture. In this lecture I am going to show you some basic things about Adobe Photoshop software. Probably you may know the software. But if you are totally beginner then this video is for you. Actually if you want to start any design in Photoshop that period you have to get a little bit knowledge about the software right? For example how to create a document, how to open a file and how to work the software exactly. Alright let's play. Look at this is our targeted software. For this course I am using Adobe Photoshop CC version. Therefore if you want you can use the same version. Otherwise you can use upper version or lower version of the software it doesn't matter. Because all the version of Adobe Photoshop interface are pretty much same. Well now I am opening the software for that simply hit on here like this. Yes now we are in the Photoshop software. At the time follow the interface carefully guys. There are many short of options available right? Don't be afraid. All options are not important for us. So simply follow me and stay with me. Please see this is menu bar. We can see there are some menu available right such as file, edit, image, layer etc. And its option bar. Look the option bar. Feather, style, weight, height those all are option mind it. And this is our workspace which means work area. On the left side you can see toolbox or alternatively you can say toolbar. There are several tools available right. And on the right side you can see control panel. In this control panel you will get layer, channel, path and lots of plate like this. Adjustment plate, style plate. Also on the top of the right side you will get preset selector option. There are few preset are available just follow simply hit on here. Then you can see different types of preset available right. You can choose any of them as your wish. You can choose 3D, you can choose motion, you can choose photography, in a word anything. But maximum case we have to work on essential mode like this. Just select it. Literally this preset is perfect for us. 
owing to the fact that in this one preset we will get all criteria very easily okay now look the menu bar this is our file menu when you click here that time you will get lots of sub menu like this new open browse and brace and etc in the same way you will get lots of sub menu each of them like this edit sub menu image sub menu layer sub menu make sense huh then follow the option bar there are few options are available okay you can check all of them just click here then you can check easily you can change the feather just select here currently you can write your exact feather typically when you start our practical project that time you will get all the points very perfectly so don't worry about that now follow toolbox there are many types of tools available okay you have to use each of them as your wish you can expand it like this just click here in the all tools you will get some sub tools like this i am choosing text tool just click here please follow now once i select the text tool that period the option bar has been changed automatically right just makes sense huh okay at the same time if i click right button of my mouse then you can see few sub tools right those all are under the text tool okay for better getting now i will create a document for that simply hit on file then choose new now put your project name like this i'm putting suppose our project name is test after that you have to choose preset just click here then you will get some default preset like this you can choose anything whatever you need think so right now i want to create custom preset that's why i just choose custom then you have to set your all criteria as your need at the time i would like to say you before creating your document you have to know what you want suppose right now i want to make a t-shirt design for that i want to create a document okay so i am putting 4500 by 5400 pixel you can change another format as like inchi points etc then choose resolution for t-shirt design 300 resolution is best and at the same time you have to choose pixels and you have to choose your color mode if you want to use your design in online that time you have to choose rgb mode that's mean rgb color and 8 bit is best 8 bit means it defines your color shape then you can change background contents now you can choose any color from here if you need transparent that time you can choose this one or you can choose background color that's mean your default color or you can choose white at the time i'm choosing white you can change the background color later so don't worry about that under below you can see lots of option advanced but it's not important for us finally hit on ok Yes, this is our targeted document. Now in this document, we can easily create our t-shirt design. But if you want to create another design, suppose you want to create a logo design, that time you have to create another document with another requirement. Okay, now see on the right side. That's mean our control panel. Now see, this is our layer. When I create a document, that time it has been created automatically, right? Actually, this is our layer. Layer means part. In this layer panel, you can create lots of layer as your wish. Suppose I will create a new layer, that's why I just click layer, then choose new, then select layer. Now you can put your layer name like this. I put layer nom1. Then ok. Now look, this is our blank layer. Can you see the checkerboard? In this blank layer, I want to create a shape. For that reason, I am choose shape tool. This is our shape tool. I just simply hit on it then drag it as your wish just follow i am dragging this is our rectangle shape now in this box i would like to change the shape color so at first i choose the color suppose right now i like green color then ok then you have to choose paint bucket tool like this i am just clicking right button of my mouse then you have to choose paint bucket tool now simply hit on here can you get the point guys make sense huh Alright, suppose at the same time in this document, I want to create a another shape that will be circle shape, but it will be another layer. Hence, at first we have to create a layer. So I am creating like the before, just click layer, then choose new, then select layer. Now put your layer name like this. I am putting layer nom2 and hit on OK. Now look the layer 2. Now I am selecting this layer, just click here. Think so you would like to select main background that's why just click here actually right now i want to clear one most important thing if you want you can create any shape in this background layer but question is why we are creating the layer right 
Actually, when you create any design, that time you will have lots of collection, right? Suppose you have shape, you have text, you will have picture, you know what, lots of things, right? So all the things, if you directly add in background layer, that period you can change it very easily. It will be more more difficult. For that reason, we need layer. Suppose right now I want to delete the rectangle shape. Now you can easily delete it. Just you can hide it or you can just select the layer then click right button. Now you can easily select delete layer. Alright, at the time I am selecting this layer, layer 2. Now I again choose shape tool then click right button. Now I am choosing elliptical marquee tool. Because our need circle shape, right? Now I am drawing it. Just follow. Now in this circle, I want to put another color. For that I choosing another color. Suppose this time I like red. Just follow. And hit on OK. Then again choose paint bucket tool. Then hit on OK. Can you get the point guys? This is our red layer. This is our green layer. In the same way you have to work in this software. To be frank in this software, almost 1000 plus options available. But all the options are not important for us. And it's impossible to cover all the thing in one video. So in future when we start our practical project, that time you will simply follow me. For example how I work and what sort of tool I use. After that you will get all the point perfectly. So I will recommend you simply follow me and do practice as much as possible for your best result. The lesson ends here. Bye and remember that at the end of the course, I will make sure your satisfaction. It's my promise you. Hello my dear students, how are you? I hope you are fine. Welcome to this section. In this section, I am going to show you how to create any types of social media post graphic. Suppose you want to create image based post graphic for like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter or any social media. Anyway, I hope after completing the section you can do it very easily. So without any further delay, let's get started. Hope so, right now I will create an Instagram post graphic. That's why at first I will create a document. Look at this is our Photoshop software. Now I will hit on file. Then pick new. At the time I will give our project name. Suppose our project name is Instagram post graphics. Now I will select preset custom. Now you have to put width and height. So I am putting it like this. 1080. 1080. At the time I want to say most important thing. That is why am I putting the size. Owing to the fact that Instagram post size is 1080 by 1080. For that reason I put this size. But if you don't know the size then you can know the size very easily. For that reason just go google.com then search Instagram post size. Like this. Please see, after searching you will get lots of result. You can open some link for getting idea. Look at this is the site 1080px by 1080px. And if you want to know more details then open the link as you need. Okay. And you can also open image. Look the image. There are all types of Instagram post size available. Look at post with image square 1080 by 1080 px that's mean pixel. You can also see post with image vertical, post with image horizontal, stories of Instagram, video of Instagram, ads for Instagram. So my dear students I hope by using Google you can easily know the size any types of social media post graphic. It can be Instagram, it can be Facebook, it can be Twitter, it can be anything okay. So right now I back my workspace. Finally you have to check all criteria like this and press ok. Ok guys the episode ends here see you next lecture so stay connected. Hello my dear students how are you I hope you are fine welcome to the lecture. We already create this document in the last episode. Right now I will add a text for our Instagram post. That's why I am going to google.com. Now I will search inspirational quote.
After searching you will get lots of results like this. You can open any link for choose one. Suppose right now I open this one. Now I am searching. Look at there are lots of quite available with text and image. Right now I am choosing this one. Never give up great things take time be patient. Now I am copying this text. That's why I click here and copy it. Then I back my workspace. After that select text tool and paste here like this. At that time I press Ctrl A for selecting. Now I will customize it as my need like this. At the same time I will select character plate like this. At the time I will customize our text from here like this. At the same time I will select move tool. Then check show transform control. Right now I will move it and customize it like this. Moreover select text tool and click here and press enter from your keyboard. After that select move tool and move it. At that time I will drag it like this. Then again select text tool and click here and enter again from your keyboard like this. Now I will select all text that's why I press Ctrl A and select move tool. At the moment I will again customize it from here like this. Finally, I will drag it as my need like this. And set it as my need. I think this is perfect. That's why I press enter. Now I will do uncheck the layer. At the same time, you can also change font style, text color, in a what anything as you need. So guys, our Instagram post is already ready. Now you can use the post after saving. But right now I want to create more gorgeous post. That's why to this post I will do more customize. So guys, the episode ends here. See you next lecture. Welcome back to the new lecture. In this lecture, I will add an image for our Instagram post. For that reason, first of all, you have to go pixabay.com. This is the site URL. Actually in this site you will get lots of free high quality images. So you can use any types of photo from this site. Just download and use. Suppose in this time I need motivation types of image. That's why I search motivation like this. Then enter. Look at after searching you will get lots of results like this. Now you can choose anything as you need. Suppose I like this one. Now choose free download and select your dimension as you need. Suppose I need this one then select download.
look at our download is completed now i am opening this like this now i will move this image in our canvas just back my workspace then click file and select place and choose your destination and select then place now i will adjust it as my need like this After adjust click done like this. Now I will select text layer and stretch it above like this. Now I again select move tool and click show transform control. Now I want to do more bigger like this. Finally I will set it as my need like this. After adjust press ok and uncheck the show transform control. Currently look at guys we already created our instagram post graphics. After export you can use this. So in the next episode I will show you how to export this picture. Ok thank you for watching. Hello my dear students how are you? I hope you are fine. Welcome to the lecture. In this lecture I am going to show you how to save these types of image very easily. At first you click file, then choose save as, then select your destination where you want to save. At the same time you can change file name and you have to must select save as type. Since our image for Instagram, that's why we have to select GPEG format like this. After that select save. At the time you have to select quality, that's why I click here. Right now I will prefer you, you must select high or maximum like this and increase your quality like this then hit ok. Ok now I will check our image that's why I open it. Look guys the design is pretty cool right? So right now you can use the image as your Instagram post. So guys I hope in this OA and on your creativity you can easily create any types of social media post graphic for like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and any social media. And finally I want to say most important thing after creating any post at the same time you can convert it for other social site like Facebook, Twitter. Suppose look this image I created for Instagram but right now I want to change the format for Facebook. So how can I do it? It's very simple. Just follow the process. First of all you have to select file, then choose save for web. Then you get this types of window. Now first of all select your format. Suppose right now I need GPEG for Facebook. Then change your quality. At the moment I need maximum. Then finally you have to put image size. Do you know what is Facebook post size? If you don't know, so don't worry. Simply you go Google and search facebook post size in pixels then you will get lots of result look at facebook post size is 1200 and 630 pixels so i will put this that's why i back my workspace and put here before that click here like this then i put just follow the process at the end click save then select your destination and save. Now I will check the image. That's why I click here and select documents. Look at. This is our Facebook post image. I am opening it. Hey guys, can you get the point? This is our Facebook post image and it's our Instagram post image. So my dear students I hope in this way you can easily create any types of social media post graphic as your need. Thank you very much for staying with me. Hello my dear students welcome to the section. In this section I am going to show you how to create any types of social media cover photo or channel art. After completing this section I hope you can create any types of social media cover photo or channel art by following all technique and on your creativity. 
ফর এক্সাম্পল ইট ক্যান বি ইউটিউব চ্যানেল আর্ট ইট ক্যান বি টুইটার কভার ফটো ইট ক্যান বি ফেসবুক পেজ কভার ইন এ ওয়ার্ড ইউ ক্যান ক্রিয়েট এনি টাইপস অফ কভার সো ডোন্ট ওয়ারি অ্যান্ড স্টে কানেক্টেড ফর ইয়ার বেস্ট রেজাল্ট হ্যালো মাই ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস হাও আর ইউ আই হোপ ইউ আর ফাইন ওয়েলকাম টু দ্য লেকচার ইন দিস লেকচার ফার্স্ট অফ অল আই উইল শো ইউ হাউ টু ক্রিয়েট ইউটিউব চ্যানেল আর্ট ইউ অলরেডি নিউ ইন দ্য লাস্ট এপিসোড হাউ টু ক্রিয়েট সোশ্যাল মিডিয়া পোস্ট গ্রাফিক্স সো ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট বাই ফলোইং থোস মেথড ইউ ক্যান ক্রিয়েট ইউটিউব চ্যানেল আর্ট ফর এক্সাম্পল ইউ উইল গো গুগল ডট কম দেন ইউ হ্যাভ টু নো ইউটিউব চ্যানেল আর্ট সাইজ আফটার দ্যাট ইউ উইল ক্রিয়েট আ ডকুমেন্ট ইন ফটোশপ অ্যান্ড ফাইনালি উইল ক্রিয়েট ইউর চ্যানেল আর্ট এজ লাইক সোশ্যাল মিডিয়া গ্রাফিক্স এজ ইউ ওয়ান্ট But in this section, I will create YouTube channel art in different way. That is very impressive. Just follow the process. Look at. This is the YouTube channel art template. By using this template, I will create our YouTube channel art very easily. But right now, one question. How can you get this template? Don't worry. I will give the template in resource section. You just download and use it. Or you can download this type of template from Google. For that reason, you have to go google.com like this. Then you will search YouTube channel art template like this. Look at after searching, you will get lots of results. You can download the template from any link as your wish. Right now I won't download because I already downloaded it. Now I back my workspace. At first I will open this PSD template like this. Please see after opening you will get these types of windows. This is our YouTube channel art dimension. This is text and logo part and other area you can use for image. Now I will place a image for our YouTube channel art. That's why I hit on file and choose place and now select your image. I am choosing this one then place. At the time I will adjust it in this template like this. After adjust pressed ok. Now I will select below layer and stress layer above like this. Look at now we can see text area. Currently we have to put our text. So guys the episode ends here. See you next lecture. So stay connected. In the next lecture I will add text for our YouTube channel art. Hello my dear students. Welcome back to this lecture. In this lecture I will add our text for YouTube channel art. So without any further delay let's get started. At first I will create shape layer. That's why I click shape tool. and choose rectangular tool now i will draw a shape like this at the time i will move it that's why i click move tool and move it moreover i will select shape tool for that reason i click shape tool and choose here then again draw another layer like this At the time I want to change fill color that's why I click here and choose my color as my need like this suppose I need this types of color finally I will adjust it that's why I click move tool and I move it as my need like this at the time I will select text tool that's why I click here and write something like this Suppose our YouTube channel name is Nafiul Alam Naim. That's why I write it. Now I press Ctrl A from my keyboard for selecting. Recently I want to change font color. That's why I select here. and pick our color as my need like this suppose i'd like red after choosing hit on okay right now i will adjust our text for that again click move tool and check the show transform control now i will adjust just follow the process 
I want to do a little bit small like this. That's why I drag it as my need. I think this is perfect. That's why I press OK. At the same time, again choose text tool like this and write something in layer like this. Now press Ctrl A for selecting like this. Now I will change font color. That's why I click here. Suppose right now I need black color. Then press OK. And right now I also change font style. That's why I click here. And choose any font. Suppose I need copper black like this. At the moment I want to do customize. For that reason I click move tool and customize it as my need like this. Just follow the process. Alright, I think this is perfect. That's why I click OK. Now I will uncheck the show transform control. And hide this space layer. Like this. Alright guys, now looks the design. The design is simply good, right? So guys, I hope in this OA you can easily create this types of design. Now you have to export it. For that click file option and choose save as. At the same time you can change file name. And you have to select save as type. For YouTube channel art, you can select PNG or GPEG file. Suppose right now I select GPEG format. And finally press save. Now check the criteria and hit on OK. OK guys, now I will check our design. That's why I click here. And I open it. Hey guys, look the design. The design is simply good, right? Now you can upload this channel art on your YouTube channel. Suppose right now I will upload this design in my YouTube channel. For that I already open my YouTube channel. Now I will upload it. That's why I click here. Now select a photo from your computer. Look this our design. I just select it and open it. Finally select. Hey my dear students, please follow carefully. The channel art has been attested very nicely, right? So I hope in this way you can easily create YouTube cover art for your YouTube channel. Thank you very much for staying with me. Hey guys, you know I already created this channel art for my YouTube channel. Suppose right now you want to use this design for your other social site. As like Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. Owing to the fact that you know all social sites promote your band. For that reason, all design must be similar, right? But right now, question is how to make the design for other site. Actually, that is very simple. Just follow the process. Suppose right now the design you want to use for Twitter. For that, first of all, you have to know Twitter dimension. That's why you will search Twitter cover photo size. Then you will get the dimension like this. 1500 pixel by 500 pixel. Alright. Now I back my workspace. At the time I will close it like this. Then click file. And choose new. At the time I will put our project name. Like this. Then choose custom and select width and height like this. Then check all criteria and hit on OK. Moreover, I will select file and select place and choose this one. That is our YouTube channel art. Then place. Now I will adjust it like this. By holding shift, drag it like this.
all right guys after adjust click on ok finally i will click file and choose save as now you can change your file name and select your type suppose right now i need gpeg finally press save and check all criteria hit on ok now i will check our twitter header or cover that's why i back here and click here look at guys this is our twitter header or cover photo now i will upload this header or cover in my twitter profile that's why i click here and open my twitter account and select edit now i will choose our design that's why i click here and select our twitter cover art then open finally apply hit on save hey guys please follow the cover it's pretty cool right this is our twitter cover and it's our youtube channel art so my dear students i hope in this way you can easily create any types of social media cover photo or channel art thank you very much for staying with me hello my dear students welcome to this section this is a basic photo retouching section in this section i am going to show you how to remove spot from your skin in simple way how to dismiss object perfectly from any photo how to do color correction very quickly for making more gorgeous to your photo how to remove background in perfect way how to replace background in very easily and lots of experience so without any further delay let's get started and stay connected for your best result hello my dear students how are you i hope you are fine welcome to the lecture in this lecture i am going to show you how to remove any types of spot from your photo very easily so without any further delay let's get started actually you can remove spot from your skin a variety of ways for that reason in this lecture i will show you best method that you can follow so look at i already added a sample photo in our canvas please see in this skin some spot are available right at the time i will remove all spot from this skin just follow the process first of all i am selecting this layer and click right button of my mouse and select duplicate layer because i want to create duplicate layer that's why i press ok now i will select spot healing brush tool that's why i click here and choose spot healing brush tool currently you can choose your brush size as you need like this just select here and choose your brush size from here I hope this brush size is perfect for me. Now I will click on spot like this. Look, the spot has been gone. I again choose spot and click. Look, it's also gone, right? Now I select this one and click. Again select this one and click. Just follow the process. Hey guys, can you get the point? The all spot has been gone, right? This is our new look and it's our previous look. So guys, I hope in this way you can easily remove spot from your skin. Thank you so much for watching. See you next lecture. So stay connected. Hello guys, welcome back to the new lecture. In this lecture, I am going to show you how to remove object from any photo. So without any further delay, let's get started. In this case as like before you can remove object from any photo in defined way. So don't worry in this lecture I will show you best method that you can follow. So look the photo. In this photo we can see some unexpected object right. For example this one. Another one. For seeing properly I am zooming. Just press ctrl plus from your keyboard. Or if you want to use mac then press comment plus. Now I drag it like this. Please see, this is our unexpected object. Now I want to remove the object. For that reason, I will select paste tool. That's why I click here and click right button and choose paste tool. At the time, I will select the object like this. Now I will move the selection object like this. Suppose in the place I want to replace. That's why I will keep the selection area in here like this. 
Now I press Ctrl D for unselect. Hey guys, now follow the place. The unexpected object has been gone, right? At the time, if you want to make more perfect the place, then you have to select Spot Healing Brush Tool like this. Just select here and choose Spot Healing Brush Tool. Now I will click this area like this. Now please follow guys, it's look fully natural right? By this process I will remove all object, just follow the process. Hey guys, please follow. All object has been gone. Now I will do zoom out. That's why I press Ctrl minus like this. This is our correction photo. There is no object available. And it's our previous photo. There are some object available, right? So guys, I hope in this OA you can easily remove any types of object from your photo. Thank you very much for staying with me. See you next lecture. So stay connected. Indeed, if you do some color correction in your photo, that time your picture will see more gorgeous, right? Alright guys, in this lecture, I am going to show you how to do color correction in your any photo. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Suppose I want to do color correction in the photo. That's why first of all, you have to select filter menu like this. Then pick camera raw filter. Look at that time you will get these types of windows. And you can see lots of option here like this. Now I will do some change for correction like this. Just follow the process carefully. Hey guys, now follow the picture. It looks pretty good as before, right? So if you can change this option as your need until perfect. Suppose if you want to increase exposure, that time you use expose option. Just increase it like this. And for decreasing drag it left like this. By this system you can use highlight, shadow, clarity, temperature, tint it as you want, okay? Okay, right now I adjust it. Ok, after changing you have to click ok. Look, this is our correction photo. And it's our original photo. Can you get the different? Ok. At the same time you can use color balance. For that reason you have to choose image option. And choose adjustment. Then choose color balance. Then you can choose this option like this. Can you get the point? Look, it's before and it's after. After changing, hit on OK. Now look at the photo. After color correction, it's look pretty much perfect, right? So guys, I hope in this OA you can easily do color correction in your any types of photo. Thank you very much for staying with me. Hello my dear students, how are you? I hope you are fine. Welcome to the lecture. In this lecture, I am going to show you how to remove background from any photo. Look at, I already added a sample photo in our timeline. Right now, by using this photo, I will show you how can you remove background from any photo. 
just follow the process first of all i select this layer and i want to duplicate the layer that's why i click right button and choose duplicate layer and press ok actually if you want to remove background then first of all you have to select main part that you want so for selecting i will use paint tool because the paint tool is best for selection than other selection tool but you can choose anything as you need such as you can choose quick selection tool lasso tool or any types of selection tool but i will prefer you for pen tool anyway i am selecting pen tool that's why i click here at the time i will draw our area like this Alright guys, after mark click right button of your mouse. Then choose make selection. And ok. At the same time you have to go select menu like this. Then choose refine as. After that you have to click here. And choose new layer. Then press ok. Finally I will uncheck below layer like this. Hey guys, now see. Our background has been removed. Now you have to save it, that's why I click file and choose save as. At the moment choose destination, I choose desktop and give a name like this. Then choose file type like this. For transparent background you must select PNG format and hit on save. Again hit on save. Finally I will check the save file that's why I click here and open it like this. Hey guys please follow. This is our transparent background. So guys I hope in this way you can easily remove background from any types of photo. Thank you very much for staying with me. Hello guys welcome to the lecture. In this lecture I am going to show you how to replace any types of background after removing original background. We saw in the last episode how to remove background from any types of photo. Look at. This is our original background and it's our removing background. Actually right now I want to say you most important thing. Once you will remove background from any photo, that time you will select perfectly all area. Then your main content will be pretty much perfect. So make sure perfect selection you can use zoom tool. Because after zooming the selection will be perfect. So I think you can get the point. Anyway right now I want to replace background in this photo. That's why first of all I hit on file and choose place. Now I will select a background as my need. Suppose I need this one. Then place. At the time I will adjust it in my canvas like this. After adjust press enter from your keyboard like this. Now choose below layer like this. Then move it above like this. Look at guys. The background has been adjust very easily right. So my dear students I hope in this way you can easily replace any types of background as you need. Thank you very much for staying with me. Hey guys welcome to the new section. In this section I am going to show you how to create any types of logo very easily. 
I hope after completing this section, you can easily create your own logo. So without any further delay, let's get started and stay connected for your best result. So first of all, please follow the picture. There are lots of popular logo available, right? Look at this is YouTube logo. It's Coca-Cola logo. It's Google logo. It's Pepsi logo. Just follow all logo for getting idea. Indeed, the all logo has been made by using text, shape and icon, right? So I hope we can create this types of logo very easily. At first, I will create exact this type logo. Just follow the logo carefully. So without any further delay, let's get started. Now I will create a document or project. That's why I click here and choose file. Then select new. At the time, I will write our project name like this. Then choose preset custom. Now I choose width and height 2000 pixel and choose resolution 300 pixel and color mode RGB 8 bit and choose background content white and finally press OK. After creating logo you can choose any types of dimension as your wish like the previous. For that reason you have to choose file. After that you have to choose save for web. We already saw this process before section right? That's why I can't explain details, okay? Now I just skipped it. That's why I press cancel like this. Okay guys, the episode ends here. See you in the next lecture. So stay connected. In this lecture, at first I will create a circle shape. For that reason, I choose shape tool and click right button. Then choose ellipse tool. Now I will draw circle like this. At the time, I want to change circle color. That's why I click here and choose this types of color like this. In this time, I want to say one most important thing about color. When you create any logo or business card, that time you won't use too much color, okay? You can use maximum 5 types of color or less. Because if you use too much color of your logo or business card, then it will be non-professional. Just follow the picture. Look, YouTube logo. They are used total three types of color, right? One is black, white and red. Coca-Cola use only red. Amazon use two types of color. And also Facebook use two types of color. And Microsoft use five types of color. Samsung use two types of color. So can you get the point? In fact, all popular band use two or three types of color. Anyway, back to the point. Right now I will adjust our shape. That's why I click move tool. Then you have to press Ctrl T from your keyboard or you can check show transform control. Then adjust it like this. I think this is perfect. After adjust I will uncheck the show transform control. Alright guys the episode ends here. See you in the next lecture. So stay connected. Welcome guys to this lecture. In this lecture, I will add an icon for our logo. But question is how to get your icon. Actually, you can get icon from Google or any icon related website. For example, I can suggest you to this website. The website name is iconfinder.com. Look at. In this website, you will get lots of icon as you need. Suppose right now I need win icon. That's why I will just search it like this. Then enter. Please see, after searching you will get lots of results like this. Right now I will choose one. I am finding. Suppose I like this one, that's why I click here. Look at price of this icon. $2.50, right? So if you like this icon, then you can buy it from here. But if you don't have money, then don't worry. You can use the logo using a technique. It's a simple method. You will just take a screenshot like this. I press print from my keyboard. Then select your area like this. Now I'm selecting as my need.
I think this is perfect. That's why I will copy it like this. I choose copy. At the time, I will back my workspace like this. Now I will create a new layer. That's why I click here and paste here. That's why I press Ctrl V. Right now, I will press Ctrl T from my keyboard for showing transform control like this. After that, I will adjust it as my need like this. I think this is alright, that's why I press OK. So guys, I hope in this OA you can easily use any types of icon as you need. Or you can also use free icon from this site. For that reason you have to click free. Look, the all icon is totally free. So you can download this icon without paying. So guys, I hope you can get all the point. Thank you very much for staying with me. See you in the next lecture. Hello my dear students, welcome back to the new lecture. In this lecture, I will write text for our logo. So to do this, just hit on text tool like this. And write here. I am writing quality matters. Now I just select the text. Then select character plate from here. Now I choose font style. Suppose right now I choose Mistral. After that I will change font size. That's why I click here and choose my size. Suppose I need 36. And I want to also change font color. That's why I click here and choose my color. Suppose right now I choose white. Then hit on OK. Afterwards I will choose move tool. That's why I click here. Right now I will move it like this. I think this is perfect. Hey guys, now look the logo. It's look pretty cool, right? So guys, I hope in this way you can easily create your own logo. Thank you very much for staying with me. See you in the next lecture. So stay connected. Hey guys, in this lecture I am going to show you how to export your creating logo. Suppose right now I want to save this logo. For that reason I hit on file. Then choose save as. Now give your name as your wish. Then choose save as type. At the time I am selecting jpeg format. And hit save. Afterwards you can change criteria as you need. Press ok. Now I will check our logo. That's why I click here. And open the logo. Look guys this is our logo. Right now the logo is not transparent, right? Because I saved it in GPG format. But if you need transparent format or transparent background, that time you have to select PNG format like this. Suppose right now I want to save this logo with transparent background. For that first of all you have to uncheck the background like this. Then go file and click save as. Now you can change file name. Suppose I want to change something. Then I choose save as type. At the time you must select PNG. And finally hit on save. Again press ok. Alright guys now the logo has been saved with transparent background. Thank you very much for staying with me. Hello my dear students this is the last lecture of logo creating. I think you already got enough idea about logo creating. Suppose right now you want to create YouTube logo. But question is how can you do it? Actually it's very simple. Look they are use only text and one shape and three types of color. Ok I am practically showing you just follow the process. I already took a document. First of all I write text like this. Actually right now I can't see our text that's why I select the text and choose the color. Suppose right now I will choose black. Then hit on OK. At the moment I want to change font style. That's why I click here. Suppose right now I will choose 
copper black now i will click here like this now press space and finally press ok at the same time i will choose rectangular shape tool that's why i click the shape tool and choose this one now i will draw shape as my need like this currently i will change shape color that's why i click here this time i will choose red color then i will click this layer and drag it below like this now i will customize our shape tool that's why i click here and select show transform control now i will stretch it as my need like this Okay, I think this is perfect. That's why I press OK. At the same time, you have to uncheck the Show Transform Control. And finally, I will uncheck the background layer. After that, I will select text layer like this. At the time, I choose this portion like this. Then press color and choose white. And hit on OK. And select done. Hey guys, now looks the design. It looks almost like this one, right? Just have defined between text style, right? If you want to use the same text, that time you will go google.com. Then you have to search YouTube logo font style download. Then enter. After searching, you will get these types of result. Now if you want, then you can download the font from any link. And finally, you can use the font for your logo. So guys, I hope you can get all the point. By this method and on your creativity, I hope you can create any types of logo as you need. Thank you very much for staying with me. Hello my dear students, welcome to the new section. In this section, I am going to show you how to make business card very easily. So without any further delay, let's get started. At first, I will create back part of our business card. That's why I have to create a document or project. For that reason, I am clicking on file like this, then choose new. Now I am putting our project name like this. Then choose preset custom. At the time, I will put width and height as my need like this. and choose resolution 300 and color mode rgb 8 bit after that press ok right now i want to change background color that's why i click edit and choose fill then select color choose my needed color like this suppose i need black then press ok again press ok at the moment i will put text as my need for example, my name, my designation, my address, my phone number, my website, my email, etc. Okay guys, in the next lecture, I will put all the text. The episode in share, see you in the next lecture. So, stay connected. Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the new lecture. In this lecture, I will add all necessary text for our business card. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Look at. I already wrote text in this notepad. Now I will copy the text from here and paste it in Photoshop. Just follow the process. First of all, I am copying my name like this. Then back my workspace. Now choose text tool and paste here. At the time I press Ctrl A from my keyboard. After selecting, I press character plate like this. Now I will change my font style like this. Suppose right now I will change American Captain. At the same time I want to change font size like this. Suppose right now I need 14. You can also use this option as you need. Then press OK. Now I will select move tool like this. Then choose show transform control. Or you can press control T from your keyboard. Finally, I will move it and set it as my need, like this.
I think this is perfect. Now I uncheck show transform control like this. By this same process I will put all necessary text as my wish just follow the process. Please guys, I already put my all text right? At the time I want to talk about color. Look at in this business card I used only two color right? 
one is white and black. Currently I will use one more color, that is red, just follow the process. Now look the design guys, I think right now the color combination is pretty cool right? At the time I am using 3 types of color for my business card. You can use maximum 5 types of color for your business card. Ok guys the episode ends here, see you in the next lecture, so stay connected. Hello guys, welcome to the new lecture. In this lecture I will add some appropriate icon to our business card for making more gorgeous. For that reason hit on file, then choose place. At the time you have to choose your icon from your computer like this. Suppose at first I will add phone icon that's why I choose it and place it. Now I will adjust it as my need just follow the process. I think this is perfect. After that I add address icon. That's why I hit on file and choose place. Now choose address icon and place. Place ok. First of all I will change the address icon color. That's why I click here. And click ok. Then choose color. Suppose right now I need white. Then hit on ok. Again choose paint bucket tool. And click here. Now I save it like this. Now I back this document and choose move tool like this. Now select show transform control. Now I will adjust it as my need like this. I think this is perfect. Finally I will add website icon that's why I again click file and choose place then select website icon and place. Now I will again change the website icon color as before just follow the process and double click here then click ok now select paint bucket tool and click here then you have to save it like this. Now I will select main document like this. Now I will adjust it as my need like this. Just follow the process. Alright, I think this is perfect. So guys, I hope in this OA you can easily add any types of icon as you need for making more gorgeous to your business card. Now one question, how to get these types of icon? You can get these types of icon from Google or any icon related website. So don't worry, I also give you the icon from resource section so you can download from there. Thank you very much for staying with me, see you in the next lecture, so stay connected. Hello my dear students, welcome back to the new lecture. In this lecture I will build shape with pen tool for making more gorgeous to our business card. 
So without any further delay, let's get started. At first I am selecting pen tool like this. Now I will draw shape as my need like this. Alright, now I click right button of my mouse and select make selection. Then press OK. At the time I need new layer, that's why I click here. Look at our new layer is opened. At the time I will choose color, that's why I click here. And choose white. Because right now I need white. Then press OK. Now select paint bucket tool and paste here. Currently I will change the layer name like this. Suppose I write white. Then ok. At the moment I will create new layer that's why I again click layer. Now I again write the layer name as like before like this. Suppose this layer will be black that's why I write black. After that I will again create new layer that's why I click here and put layer name like the previous. I think this layer will be red that's why I write red. Alright now I select pen tool like this and create a shape as my need like this. At the time I will select right button of my mouse and choose make selection. Then press ok. At the time I will select red color like this. And hit on ok. Finally I will click paint bucket tool and click here. Now I will select ctrl D from my keyboard for deselect. At the time I can't see white color, that's why I select white layer. Now I start it like this. Now I choose black layer and drag it up like this. At the same time I will select pen tool like this and create a new shape as my need like this. Finally I press right button of my mouse and select make selection and choose ok. At the time I will select color like the previous. Just follow the process. Finally press ctrl D for deselect. Hey guys now look the overall business card design. Now the business card looks pretty cool right? So guys, I hope in this OA you can easily create these types of gorgeous template for your business card. Accordingly, thank you very much for staying with me. See you in the next lecture. So stay connected. Hello my dear students, I already created back part of my business card. Now I will save it. That's why I hit on file and choose save as. Now write your file name as you need like this. Then choose save as type. This time you can choose PNG or GPEG as your wish. Suppose I choose GPEG. Then save. And again hit on OK. At the time I will create font part of our business card. For that reason I will uncheck all text and icon like this. At the same time I will select black white red layer like this. Now I will click right button of my mouse and choose duplicate layer. Then press ok. After that I will select move tool like this. Now I will move it like this. 
then choose edit and pick transform and choose free horizontal at the time i will set it as my need like this recently i will add a logo for our business card for that i will click file and choose place then select your logo like this suppose this is our business card logo i select it and place it now i will set it as my need just follow the process i think this is perfect that's why press okay now i will write our company name like this just select text tool suppose my company name naim academy right now we can see our text because our text color and background color is same for that reason first of all i select our text and choose color now select your color as you need suppose right now i need red then press okay at the same time i will change font style that's why i click here and choose down come afterwards i will click move tool and select show transform control at the time i will drag it as my need like this i think this is perfect that's why i press okay now i uncheck the show transform control and move it as my need like this finally i will again select text tool and write here in this time i will write code text of our company just follow the process at the time i will select the text and choose color in this time i will select white that's why i choose it and okay and i want to also change font style that's why i click here suppose right now i want to change american captain then press okay then choose move tool and move it as my need like this Hey my dear students now looks the whole design actually this is font part of our business card i think you can get all the point the process is very simple right so guys i hope in this way you can simply create font part of your business card as your need finally i will save the design that's why i click file and choose save as now give a name as your need now choose save as type like this gpeg then press save now check all criteria and hit on okay finally we will check our business card that's why i click here look this is our front part of our business card and it's our back part of our business card so guys i hope in this way you can easily create your own business card as your need Actually I am trying to clear all the point from my way because I believe that your satisfaction is my success. Thank you very much for staying with me. If you want to create an animated gif, if you say yes then you are in the right place because in this section I am going to show you how to create an animated gif very easily. So without any further delay let's get started. At first you have to create a project in Photoshop. So for creating project simply hit on file like this. now choose new and give a project name then choose preset custom now set width and height 500 like this then choose resolution 300 pixel color mode rgb color 8 bit background contents white after that pick okay Okay now our project is ready at the time i will place a video for making animated gif for that reason select file and choose place now you have to choose a video from your computer like this i am selecting this and place
look at our video has been opened right now i will adjust the video in our project just drag it like this I think this is perfect that's why I press okay now our need timeline option that's why I click windows and choose timeline from here like this now you have to choose create video timeline like this now play the video for testing I click play button All right the video is working well the episode ends here see you in the next lecture so stay connected hello my dear students welcome back to the new lecture we already saw in the last episode how to place video in photoshop for making gif look this is the video it's almost 48 second video now i want to say most important thing when you create a gif that time you must select time length in 5 to 10 second because 5 to 10 second gif is perfect for everywhere you should know that if you create 10 second plus gif then it won't be supported every website so now i will create 5 second gif now i choose 5 second portion from this video look at this is beginning cursor and this is end cursor you can choose any part by dragging like this left or right okay as you need you can move it suppose i will choose beginning five part like this just drag in part like this and set it five second okay now i will drag the cursor point like this and play it for checking All right just this part i will create for gif at the time you have to click this gear then choose loop playback that's mean when you click loop playback this video part will be automatic played time and again and that time choose resolution 50% okay all right now i will add some text in this gif for that i select text tool and write here like this suppose i write life is full of action like this Now I select the text like this. Now I select move tool and drag it as my need like this. If you want to do more customize then select show transform control and drag it as your need. I think this is perfect. That's why I press okay. Then uncheck the show transform control. at the time i will set the text layer like this now play the video for checking all right guys this is fine Now our gif is ready at the time you have to save it in the next episode i will show you how to save the gif properly so stay connected hey guys welcome back to the lecture in this lecture i am going to show you how to save this gif properly so without any further delay let's get started at first you have to click file then choose save for web at the moment choose preset look there are many types of gif file available You can choose any one as your wish. Suppose you need 32 the third then choose give 32 the third.
please see after choosing 32 dithar the gift color has been changed right actually dithar mean amount of color suppose you choose 64 dithar look after changing right now the color has been changed a little bit right suppose right now you choose 64 no dithar can you get the point how much change the gift color so you can check all the dithar as your wish then choose anyone as you need okay suppose i think this is good or i choose another one suppose right now finally i choose 32 the third all right after choosing the third you have to choose looping option then choose forever from here because you want to play the gift time and again that's why you have to choose forever at the same time you can play the gift from here like this After checking hit on save like this. Now choose your destination. Suppose I select desktop. Then press OK. Alright guys, our GIF file has been saved. Now I will check. That's why I click here and open it. Just follow the process. It's working very well, right? So guys, I hope in this OA you can easily create GIF file as you need. Thank you very much for staying with me. Hello my dear students, how are you? I hope you are fine. Welcome to the section. In this section, I am going to show you how to create a cool t-shirt design in a simple way. So stay connected for your best result. First of all, I will create a document. That's why I click file and select new. Now I will give a name like this. After that you will check all criteria like this and hit OK. At the same time I want to change background color that's why I click edit and select fill and choose color and select your color suppose I need black that's why I select it and press OK and again press OK. Alright guys the episode ends here see you next lecture so stay connected. Hello my dear students, how are you? I hope you are fine. Welcome to the lecture. In this lecture, I will attach some text and repositioning them. So without any further delay, let's get started. At first, I will select text layer. That's why I click here. Now I will select the text that I want. Suppose I need copper black. At the same time, I will select text size. Suppose I need 72 pt. And I will select text color. That's why I click here. And right now I need, suppose I need white. Then press OK. Now I will write our text. That's why I click here. I am writing the like this. Now click OK. Now again click under below like this. Now I will write hero like this. Then again press OK. And again click under below like this. Now write R like this. And again press OK. Now again click here and write here. Moreover hit OK. Now I will do customize all text. That's why first of all I select this layer. And select move tool. And click here. And move it as my need. And select show transform control. Or you can press Ctrl T from your keyboard. Now I will set it. Just follow the process. Finally press OK. Now select this layer like this. Now I will customize all text layer like before. Just follow the process.
at the moment I want to change this layer style that's why I click here and select text and choose another text style suppose now I need down come that's why I search it I got it look at now I will do customize it that's why I select move tool and customize as my need like this after I just pressed enter from your keyboard like this and uncheck the shock transform control ok guys the episode ends here see you next lecture so stay connected hello my dear students how are you i hope you are fine welcome to the lecture in this lecture i will do more customize our design for making more gorgeous so without any further delay let's get started at the beginning i will select shape tool that's why i click here and click right button and select rectangle tool now i will create a shape as my need like this suppose i need It's perfect. Now I want to change this color. That's why I click here and choose fill color. Alright, now I will select move tool. That's why I click here and choose it and show transform control. That's why I click here and I will do more bigger like this. Okay, now click done. Now select the shape layer and drag it like this fit here all right now you can do again customize like this after adjust press ok now uncheck the show transform control at the same time i again click shape tool and click right button now i select ellipse tool like this now i will draw a shape like this and i want to create another one like this i want to change this color shape that's why i click here and choose white all right now click move tool now i will move it a little bit like this Okay guys, the episode ends here. See you next lecture. So stay connected. Hello guys, welcome again. In this lecture, first of all, I will save the design. For that reason, I uncheck the background. Owing to the fact that I need transparent background. Afterwards, click file. And choose save as. And select destination. Suppose I need desktop. Now select type. At the time I will select PNG because I need transparent background. Then choose save. Again select OK. At the same time I will import a t-shirt template. That's why I again click file and hit open. And select your template from your computer. That's why I click here and choose any types of template. Suppose I need this one. That's why I click it and open it. Currently, I will place our design in this t-shirt. For that, moreover, hit file and select place. And choose our design. That's why I click desktop. Look at, this is our design. I select it and place it. Now, I will do customize it as my need, like this. After adjust click OK. Now look the design. I think the design is pretty cool right? So my dear students I hope in this way you can simply create this types of design. Thank you very much for staying with me. Congratulations my dear students. You already completed this course very successfully. I hope you learned a lot from this course. Actually in a short time I tried to clear all important things. Because I believe that your satisfaction is my success. Now I want to say that you won't be upset. You know perfect practice makes a man perfect. 
so now you can start design and do much more practice until success. When you face any problem, then feel free to ask me any question. I will try to respond as soon as possible. So my dear students, thank you so much for staying with me. Go ahead and all the best. Have a great day and you can check my other course for more learning. And obviously pray for me. Hey my dear students, how are you? I hope you are fine. Welcome to the lecture. In this video, I am going to show you how to get lots of royalty free font very easily. Actually, for many purpose, we are to need royalty free font, right? So I think this video will be very helpful for you. Anyway, without any further delay, let's get started. Now here I will recommend you my three favorite website. Indeed, from this website, you can download and use royalty free fonts whatever you want. Alright, come to the point. Look at this website. This is my first favorite website for getting free font. That is thefont.com. D-A-F-O-N-T dot C-O-M. You just type it on your browser, then press enter from your keyboard. That is you will get this types of interface. Please see, there are lots of font available. You can choose any of them from here. Suppose I like this font, Rush Hour. Therefore, for using, first of all, I have to download it. That's why I click download, then pick start download. Yes, our download has been finished. Now I will check it. Look at this is our targeted font. Now click right button of your mouse. Then choose extract here. Now simply open it. After that hit on install. I am hitting. Please follow carefully. Currently the font already installed, right? So now you can use the font for your any purpose. Okay, now I am going to back. Now follow the all interface carefully. Look at there are lots of category available. You can choose any of them from here. You can choose school category. You can choose basic category. You can choose Mexican font. You can choose Arabic font. You can choose sport font. Even you can search your likable font from the box. Suppose right now I am searching horror font. That's why I click horror. Now please follow all the font. At the time, there are lots of horror font gainable. You can choose anything as your wish. Just you have to download and install. So guys, I hope you can get all the point very clearly. I will suggest you come here and play around with these different types of options. That time you will get practical knowledge. Alright, now I am going to show you my second favorite website. That is 1001freefonts.com. Here you also get lots of different types of free font. Look at the category. You can choose LCD font, you can choose modern font, you can choose movies TV font, you can choose animal font, you can choose computer font. Suppose I am choosing this. Now look at. At the time there are lots of computer based font available, right? You can choose any of them from here. Suppose I like this font checkbook for that i just download it now hit on start download yes it has been done now i am checking it look at this is our targeted font now click right button of my mouse then choose extract here now click here for installing finally hit on install now please follow the font has been installed so guys i hope you can get all the point very clearly Recently, I am going to back again. Finally, I am going to show you the third website. Please follow the third website. That is fontsquirrel.com. Look at the URL. F-O-N-T-S-Q-U-I-R-R-E-L dot C-O-M. After going this website, you will get these types of interface. Look at, there are some category available. Hot, recent, top font, dial, swag, generator, etc. Or you can search your any targeted font from here. Or you can check the whole interface like this. There are lots of options available. You can choose any filter or category. Definitely I will recommend you come here and play around with these different types of options. That time you will get practical knowledge. Okay, now I am choosing most popular font. That's why I click here. Suppose I like first one, that's why I click download, then hit on start download. 
Yes, it has been done. Now I am checking it. Just follow the process. Please follow. This is our targeted font. Now click right button of my mouse. Then choose extract here. Please follow. In this font lots of style available. You can choose any of them whatever you want. Suppose I like this one. That's why I hit on here. Then choose install. Yes, the font has been installed. Now you can use it for your any purpose. Therefore, I guess in this process, you will get lots of royalty free font whatever you want. Thank you very much for staying with me. See you in the next video. Hey my dear students, how are you? I hope you are fine. Welcome to the lecture. In this video, I am going to show you how to get lots of royalty free images. Actually, many purpose we are to need free images, right? So I guess this video will be very helpful for you. Anyway, without any further delay, let's get started. Now look at the website. This is pixels.com. Actually, it's my favorite website for getting royalty free images. However, right now, please follow the website carefully. Look at the best free stock photos and videos shared by talented creators. I just scroll it. Just follow. There are lots of photo available, right? You can choose any of them from here. And you can use them totally free with high resolution. Think so, I am choosing one. Just follow the process. Suppose I like this one. That's why I click here. Please follow. Here you can get an option that is free download. I am hitting here for downloading, just follow the process. Then choose allow. Yes, download has been completed. Now I am opening for checking. It's pretty cool, right? Currently you can use this photo for your any purpose. Alright, now I am going to back. Now I just close it. Even you can search any types of photo as you want. Suppose I need gym photo. That's why I search it. Look at after searching there are lots of gym related photos available right. You can pick any of them whatever you want. Alright I am picking one just follow the process. Suppose I like this one for that purpose hit on here like this. Then simply click free download. Absolutely, it has been done. I am opening it. Just follow the process. Wow, it looks super good, right? So guys, I hope in this way, simply you can get lots of royalty free images from this site. Okay, now I am going to back moreover. Again, close it. And if you have any doubt about this website, that time you can check the license. Just click license option. After that, you will get license condition. Just follow here. What is allowed? All photos on pixels are free to use. Attribution is not required. Giving credit to photographer or pixel is not necessary but always appreciate. You can modify the photos. Be creative and edit the photos as you like. Therefore guys, I hope you can get all the point very perfectly. Ok, at the time I am going to the second website. Look at the website. This is unsplash.com. Here you also get lots of royalty free images like pixel.com. Look at the interface. There are some category available. You can choose anything as your wish. Suppose I need people. That's why I hit on here. Recently, please follow. There are lots of people related images gainable. You can choose any of them from here, whatever you want. Suppose I like this one. That's why I hit on here. Afterwards, you have to click download free. I am clicking here. Then make sure allow. Absolutely, the download has been completed. I am opening now. At the moment, you can simply use the photo for your any purpose. Okay, now I am going to back again to the website. Now I just close it. Okay, I hope in the same process, you can download any types of photo from this website. Even you can search any types of photo from here. At the same time, finally, I am going to show you the third website. Look at the website. Stock Snap.io. 
in this website you will also get lots of reality free images like before look at the interface beautiful free stock photos you can search any photo from here or you can choose any category whatever you want or you can just scroll it the home page like this just follow the process there are lots of high quality photo available right you can choose any of them from here suppose i am choosing this one that's why i click here now for doing download just click right button of your mouse like this then choose save images then select your destination and save it now i am opening it for checking just follow the process look at it simply cool right so at the moment you can use this photo for your any purpose therefore guys i hope in this manner you can simply get lots of reality free images from this website Thank you very much for staying with me. See you in the next video. Hello, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are fine. Welcome to the lecture. You know, for any purpose, we have to need reality-free icon, right? But question is, how can you get reality-free icon? Don't worry. In this video, I am going to show you how can you get lots of reality-free icon very easily. So I think this video will be very helpful for you. Anyway, without any further delay, let's get started. Right now I will show you my favorite websites. Actually from the websites you can download reality free icon whatever you want. No need to take any permission using them. Okay come to the point. My first website is findicons.com. Please follow the URL. f i n d i c o n s dot c o m. You just type it on your browser and press enter from your keyboard. that period you will get this types of interface in this box you can search any icon as you need suppose i am searching something like this look at after searching win you will get win related lots of icon right you can check another page from here 2 3 4 5 think so i like this one that's why i click here after that you can select your size just click other size suppose i need this size that's why i click here finally you have to download right for that purpose you just select your download format look at there are some format available you can choose anything as your wish suppose i need png that's why i click download png please wait 2 seconds now hit on download Yes the icon has been downloaded now i am just opening it for checking just click here it's look pretty cool right now you can use it for your any purpose all right now i am going to back then close it and you can check popular icon just click popular icon please see there are lots of popular icon available you can choose anything as your wish you can choose mobile icon you can choose global icon indeed it will depend on your requirement okay at the time i am going to show you my second favorite website that is iconmonster.com just look the url i c o n m o n s t r c o m after coming this website you will get this types of interface Look at in the search box you can search any icon whatever you want or you can go under below like this just scroll your mouse there are lots of icon available right you can choose anything as your wish suppose i like dollar icon that's why i just click here then select your format i need psd or png now drag the scroll bar like this Afterwards you have to pick I agree to the license agreement just click here and choose download Please follow the download has been completed at the moment I am opening it for checking It's simply good right so I hope in this way you can download lots of icon and use them without hesitation All right now I am going to back more over Finally I am going to show you my third favorite website that is endlessicons.com 
just follow the url this is the url e n d l e double s i c o n s dot c o m after going this website you will get this types of interface like the previous you can search and download any icon from this website for searching use the search box or you can directly pick from here look at there are lots of results available you can choose any page as your wish suppose i like this one wi-fi icon after choosing you will get this types of interface then choose download png and svg i am choosing here all right finally hit on start download absolutely our download has been completed now i am opening it for checking please see this is our file now click right button of your mouse then choose extract here yes this is our icon now you can easily use this icon for your any purpose so i hope in this way you can simply get lots of royalty free icon whatever you want thank you very much for staying with me see you in the next video